Louise Brooks, an iconic figure in classic Hollywood, left an indelible mark on the film industry through her compelling performances. Her work, characterized by a unique blend of sophistication and authenticity, invites reflection on the impact of her contributions. Whether considering your personal connection to her body of work or recalling cherished memories associated with Louise Brooks, her influence resonates with audiences even today. We invite you to share your most cherished memories or experiences related to this classic Hollywood actor in the comments below. Your stories add depth to the legacy of Louise Brooks and contribute to a collective appreciation of her artistry. Actress Louise Brooks, known for her iconic role in Pandora's Box, had a tumultuous early career marked by unconventional choices. In her pursuit of stardom, Brooks took up residence in the Algonquin Hotel, where an encounter with director Edmund Gooding led to a misunderstanding about a screen test offer. Her refusal, based on suspicions of seduction, resulted in her departure from the Algonquin. However, her unorthodox behavior continued at the Martha Washington, leading to her eviction from there as well. Reflecting on the incidents, Brooks Riley remarked, Within a month, my wearing apparel had got me kicked out of two hotels. During a pivotal moment in her career, Brooks' decision to leave her Paramount contract coincided with Marlene Dietrich's acceptance of the role of Lulu in Pandora's Box. This choice set the stage for Dietrich's ascent to fame in the film, while Brooks ventured on a different path. Louise Brooks hailed from a family with a legal background. Her father, Leonard Porter Brooks, served as a lawyer, while her mother, Myra Rude Brooks, showcased her musical talent as a pianist. These early episodes in Louise Brooks' life hint at the complexities that defined her journey in the film industry. From hotel expulsions to career-altering decisions, Brooks navigated a unique path, leaving an indelible mark on cinema. Amidst the glitz of Hollywood, Louise Brooks faced financial setbacks that reshaped her life. In 1940, a failed dance studio venture in Beverly Hills, marred by a financial scandal involving her partner, prompted her departure from Hollywood. Boarding a train back to Kansas on July 30th, Brooks bid farewell to the glamour of Tinseltown. Unbowed, she opened a dance studio in Wichita, authoring the fundamentals of good ballroom dancing. Post-Hollywood, Brooks found herself navigating a different reality. By 1946, financial constraints compelled her to embrace a $40 a week job as a saleswoman at Saks Fifth Avenue, a stark departure from the silver screen's allure. This shift underscored the pragmatic choices she made to sustain herself outside the celluloid realm. Beyond her struggles, Brooks' legacy extended beyond the confines of her era. In an unexpected turn, she served as the muse for the British band orchestral maneuvers in the Dark's 1991 hit Pandora's Box. A music video intertwined lead singer Andy McCluskey with scenes from Brooks' iconic film, creating a modern artistic fusion. From failed business ventures to pragmatic career shifts and unexpected inspirations, Louise Brooks' journey transcended the screen, etching an unconventional narrative that defied the Hollywood norm. Her resilience and influence, both in and outside the industry, continue to shape perceptions of a woman who lived a life beyond the frame. In Neil Gaiman's novel American Gods, Louise Brooks earns the title of the greatest American actress of all time from the character Chernabok. This accolade, rooted in Gaiman's literary world, reflects the enduring impact of Brooks' career. As a child, she formed a close friendship with Vivian Vance, who later played Ethel Mertz on I Love Lucy. This early connection hints at Brooks' diverse relationships within the entertainment industry. Despite her acclaim in American Gods, Brooks faced a pivotal moment in her Hollywood career when, attempting a comeback from European ventures, she declined an offer to star alongside James Cagney in the classic The Public Enemy. This decision had the potential to revitalize her career, yet Brooks chose a different path. This critical juncture in Brooks' journey highlights the complexities of her choices in the ever-evolving landscape of Hollywood. From childhood friendships to literary accolades, her narrative weaves through layers of influence and decisions that shaped her trajectory as an actress. Louise Brooks' story, marked by connections and pivotal choices, invites exploration into the layers of Hollywood's golden era and the enduring impact of her legacy in the literary realm. Her name resonates not only on the silver screen, but also within the pages of influential novels, solidifying her status as a figure worthy of literary admiration. 
Chosen by Empire Magazine as one of the 100 sexiest stars in film history, Louise Brooks left an indelible mark on the silver screen that extended beyond her cinematic achievements. While her iconic role in Pandora's box is often celebrated, her personal life adds layers to her legacy. Beyond the glitz of Hollywood, Brooks' connections were as intriguing as her on-screen presence. Briefly the mistress of CBS founder William Paley, she secured a yearly pension for the rest of her life through this clandestine relationship. This financial support became a silent force shaping her post-Hollywood journey. In the realm of friendships, Brooks shared a close bond with the it girl Clara Bow, a connection that adds nuance to her social circle within the entertainment industry. These relationships, often overshadowed by her cinematic fame, provide a window into the complex web of connections that defined her off-screen life. From the allure of being recognized among the sexiest stars to the discreet ties that secured her financial stability, Louise Brooks' story goes beyond the frames of the movies she graced. It's a narrative woven with intriguing connections, adding layers to her legacy that continue to captivate and define her enduring impact. In July 1938, a 20th century Fox talent scout, intrigued by a girl named Linda Carter's performance in a play, offered her a screen test. Little did they know that Linda Carter was, in fact, Louise Brooks attempting a comeback. This unexpected twist marked a pivotal moment in Brooks' career, showcasing her determination to re-enter the industry. Facing financial challenges, Brooks took unconventional paths. On February 6, 1932, she filed for bankruptcy, leading her to dance in nightclubs to make ends meet. This period of financial turmoil added a layer of resilience to her journey, emphasizing her pragmatic approach to sustaining herself outside the traditional avenues of Hollywood. Post-retirement, Louise Brooks transitioned from the screen to the written word. She penned numerous witty and intelligent essays on the film industry, showcasing her depth of insight and contributing to the broader discourse on cinema. This shift in her creative expression demonstrated her multifaceted talents and enduring influence. From her undercover screen test as Linda Carter to navigating financial hardships and transitioning into a prolific writer, Louise Brooks' story is one of tenacity and versatility. Beyond the glitz of Hollywood, her journey continued to unfold through unexpected twists and strategic choices, leaving an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. As we bid adieu to this journey through the mesmerizing world of actress Louise Brooks, let the curtain fall not on mere recollections, but on the profound resonance her performances have left within us. As you reflect on the silver screen moments she so elegantly etched into the annals of cinema, consider the tapestry of emotions she wove and the characters she breathed life into. Your personal connection with Louise Brooks is a testament to the enduring magic of her artistry. Whether you found solace in her silent expressions or danced along with the vivacity she brought to the screen, these memories are the threads that bind us across time. Now, I extend an invitation for you to share your cherished thoughts and fondest memories of Louise Brooks. Let the echoes of her performances reverberate through our collective appreciation. As we navigate the corridors of nostalgia, let's celebrate the indelible Mark Louise Brooks has left on the tapestry of entertainment. Her contributions are not just celluloid, but a legacy that continues to captivate hearts and minds. Thank you for taking this cinematic stroll and for sharing in the celebration of a talent that transcends eras. Appreciatively, 